Good day, viewers. You yeah, are welcome to today's math class. So let's solve this Harvard University exam question. Now, here yeah, now t is common. So we have t factorial is equal to t into bracket t squared minus 1. So now, recalling the property of difference of 2 squared, when you have a raised to the power of 2 minus b raised to the power of 2, this is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So here now, we are going to rewrite this as t factorial is equal to t multiplied by t minus 1, also multiplied by t plus 1. Don't forget 1, we can rewrite it as 1 raised to the power of 2. Now, recalling this n factorial property, when you have n factorial, you can say that we can rewrite this, or this is equal to n plus 1 multiplied by n, multiplied by n minus 1, multiplied by n minus 2, and so on. So now, here, t can, we can write it as t multiplied by t minus 1, multiplied by t minus 2, factorial. Reason why I stopped here is so that we can cancel out these two. So here now we have t multiplied by t minus 1 multiplied by t plus 1. So we can cancel out these two. We have t minus 2 factorial is equal to t plus 1. Now, let t minus 2 equals k. When t minus 2 is equal to k, adding 3 to both sides, we have t minus 2 plus 3 is equal to k plus 3. This implies that t minus 1, t plus 1 rather, is equal to k plus 3. So, note this. Now, moving back to this, we have t minus 2 to be equal to k factorial. And the other side, which is t plus 1, to be equal to k plus 3. Now, we are going to use trial method. Let's start. We can't start with 2 because 2 factorial is, is 2. So, and we know that 2 is less than this. So, we have plus 3. So, we we'll just start with 3 factorial. Let's start with 3 factorial. If k, if k is equal to k, 3, so we have 3 factorial is equal to 3 plus 3. So and we know that 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2, that's 6. So 3 plus 3 here is 6, which implies, sorry, which implies that the real value of k is 3, since both the right and left side are equal to each other. Sorry, I made a mistake here. Since both the right and left side are equal to each other. So k is definitely equal to 3. Now, here now we said t minus 2 is equal to k. And we have gotten the value for k, which is 3. So t minus 2 is equal to 3. When you collect like times, we have t to be equal to 5. Therefore, the value for t from this equation is equal to 5. And let's verify it. This is the question now. The question says t factorial is equal to t raised to the power of 3 minus t. So since t is equal to 5, so we have 5 factorial to be equal to 5 raised to the power of 3 minus 5. 5 factorial is equal to 120. So 3 raised to the power of 5 is equal to 125. And we have minus 5 here. Therefore, we have 120 is equal to 120. So t is definitely equal to 5 since it satisfied the equation. Please don't forget to follow or subscribe for more. Thank you.